we play them, we enjoy them, and some of us practically live and breathe them. But how are they actually made? Video games capture the heart of the child in each and every one of us. We sent Grant to find out how your favorite time waster is made. The video games industry is a leviathan. It makes more money than the music industry and Hollywood combined. And just like film and music, it takes a lot of work into making video games. So I'm here at Rage 2015, Africa's largest video games convention, to find out what goes into producing video games. First off, video games come in all shapes and sizes. You probably have heard of the big blockbuster titles that have the biggest marketing. Games like FIFA, Call of Duty, and Assassin's Creed. But smaller games are getting a lot of attention these days. If you're looking to get into game development, it's best to start small. That's exactly what Jeff Burrows did. So my game is called Among the Innocent. It's the first of, of five games in the Stricken series, and it's a first-person adventure game. I've had a passion for video games for a long time, so leading to development was, was kind of like a natural evolution for me. Uh, also, working for NAG for the last seven years, I've really got to understand the industry, both from a consumer and a media, and, and also from a publisher's point of view sort of seeing all the bits and pieces and I really thought this is, this is something that I, I need to be more involved in. I need to contribute towards this industry. The challenges of being a South African game developer are not as much as you'd expect really. Uh, you know, we have internet problems, obviously, um, power supply problems, you know, the sort of day-to-day -day practical challenges, but there are a lot of benefits as well that, that counterbalance that. The fact that I aim to sell my game in dollars and euros and pounds works out pretty well for someone who's spending rands locally. Indie games like Jeff's are an affordable way to get into game development. But some of us have always dreamed of working for major publishers like Activision, Microsoft or Ubisoft. Hamish has come all the way from Montreal and is working on one of 2016's most anticipated games, The Division. So I work as a community developer on The Division, which means that I'm the per one of the people, there's three of us, um, that speaks with the community and tells them as much as we can about the game, right? Um, and then also it kind of works both ways. We want to find out what the community thinks and then take that back to the guys who are making the game and make sure that um, we, we get an understanding, right? Massive is the lead studio working on it, but we have other studios around the world. Um, so we have uh, Reflections in Newcastle in the UK, we have Red Storm in North Carolina who are the guys who have worked on Clancy Titles Forever and they make all these like weapons, They're, those guys are awesome. Um, we have Ubisoft NSA and it's, it's a really a joint effort. Well, the thing that surprised me is I never really thought about getting into the industry because for some reason I always forgot that people actually made games. So the thing that surprised me was there are so many different roles, right? You don't have to be just a programmer or just an artist. There's people who are involved as producers, like community developers, musicians, sound effects guys, cinematic artists, there's basically anything, but you can basically tailor any skill to part of the development process. The exciting thing is that development's happening everywhere now. When I left New Zealand, it was, there was not much happening. And I think in the past like three or four years, things have just gotten crazy everywhere. So I'm really excited to see what's happening here. Just like in film and television, it takes many different disciplines to make a video game happen. So there's room for developers, coders, even if you just have a great idea for a story, all you've got to do is get started. And who knows, you might just be the next independent game developer that we feature on Tech Report.